What's up guys, iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to obtain some of the features available for iOS 8 and iOS 7 right now. Some features are available through City, of course, if you haven't jailbroken your iOS device. The link will be down below to the direct video tutorial in my channel, so you can go ahead and jailbreak your device and follow this tutorial if you wish to have iOS 8 features in iOS 7 without having to update and lose your jailbreak. So let's go ahead and begin. Alright guys, so let's begin. The first tweak I want to talk about goes by the name of Centrix. Now Centrix does not give you an extension or any application on your springboard, but simply it allows you to obtain the iOS 8 style control center, which you can see right there. I think actually I like the iOS 8 control center rather than the iOS 7. I don't know about you guys, but I do. Uh, leave a comment down below telling me what you think about Centrix here that gives iOS 8 style to control center in iOS 7. All right, so as we move along here to the next tweak goes by the name of Notific 8. So a very simple notification center tweak that you get an extension and settings once you download it from Cydia and you go ahead and adjust these settings to your liking. But basically this gives you the notification center style for iOS 8 and you can control and add other features and extensions like you would in iOS 8 so it's very cool very nice to use if you want iOS 8 like control center the whole iOS 8 experience this is another tweak to add Alright guys, so the next tweak I'm going to be talking about is interactive message notifications. Now, Apple introduced interactive notifications in iOS 8, well, in iOS 7 with interactive notifications in Cydia. You can go ahead and interact with your notifications without having to enter the application itself. For example, if you receive a message, you can just simply swipe down and interact with that person. Go ahead and send them a text back or whatever, and also works with other notifications. So, interactive message notifications also has a toggle or a tweak extension here in your settings applications where you could toggle it on and off and also take away the blur effect when you get messages on your iOS device. So interactive message notifications is a very great tool that allows you to have iOS 8 style interaction with your notifications like you would with iOS 8 and iOS 7. So the next tweak is one of my favorite ones because Apple introduced in iOS 8 what they call their quick type keyboard or predictive keyboard. Well now in CD you can also download predictive keyboard and you get an extension here in your settings application and adjust to all kinds of cool settings and languages. You can go ahead and try this one for three days, a free tryout if you'd like. That's what I'm using right now. But basically, it gives you the quick type keyboard feature that you normally get with iOS 8. It's now available here in the iOS 7 platform through Cydia. Very cool, very useful, and it works very smooth. There you guys have a predicted keyboard, one of my favorite features available under Cydia for iOS 8 features in iOS 7. So jumping over to the next tweak I'd like to share with you guys goes by the name of OK Siri which allows you that once you plug your de iOS device to a power source the Siri will automatically can be engaged by using a phrase. The OK Siri feature is now available under Siri as well. You do get an extension and as you can see here you can use any word to activate Siri by going ahead and changing the uh, keyword here in the extension section. I'm going to go ahead and connect my iOS device to a power source and once you once I connect my device to a power source the little microphone will show up here on the top right Right corner which means Siri is active waiting for me to engage with her hands-free by using any phrase that I choose again this is iOS 7 go ahead and jump into general here and show you what iOS version I'm running iOS 7.1 Point two. So you guys have it. Those are some of the cool tweaks that you can add in iOS 7 once you jailbreak to get iOS 8 features without having to update once it gets released and still enjoy some of the new features that Apple implemented within iOS 8. I'm sure a lot more will be coming available in Cydia as iOS 8 unfolds. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below telling me if you use any of these tweaks. And if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. I really do appreciate it when you guys thumbs up my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. And of course, if you want the iOS 8 wallpaper as well, I'll have a direct link to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com where you can download it and complete your iOS 8 experience in iOS 7. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.